after that weather that killed off all of my all my plants that were getting all excited uh it's been super cold but we we're actually having a nice warm day out today so i thought i'd come out here and take a close look at everything and i thought i'd share with you how i am going to be salvaging uh some of the damage that happened here You can see how kind of soft and wilty these plants are, kind of especially when I bend this stem. You know, there's, <laughs> it's not super happy, but then the growth up here, it's, this is still, still alive. The plant hasn't been completely killed, but all this stuff that's hanging down, now that it's warmed up, it's, it's dead. It's, it's not going to be surviving on these plants, but because it's been cold, it's basically been in the fridge so it hasn't it hasn't really started to to turn yet so if i pick this stuff today on this warmer day as long as i use it kind of in the next day or two it uh it's still gonna be you know edible it's just maybe gonna be a little bit of a stronger kale flavor which you know i'm boo <laughs> so i got my my harvest basket and i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna pick it all up and and salvage some of it. We're obviously going to be having a kale stir fry for dinner tonight, but you know, it <laughs> don't want it to completely go away, go to waste. Even though I made that video saying I didn't want to eat it, I you know, I do want to eat it. <laughs> This is one of the positive things that comes from growing your own food, I feel. The relationship that you kind of have with your food changes. I don't really like kale, so wilted kale is pretty low on the list of foods I'm going to prioritize eating, but when when you've grown it, you've, you've put in all this effort, it, it feels like such a waste to to just let it go uneaten so you know you're out there you're you're making the effort to actually use up what you have and you know it, obviously I've, I've said it before having a garden doesn't mean that I'm you know not wasting food having you know <laughs> stuff happens right so but you you do what you can and it teaches you ways to respect your food a little bit more, I feel. You know, like, I, I want to eat this. Whereas, I feel like outside of the, the space of growing this food myself, this would be considered garbage. So, you know, <laughs> it's a nice day and it's nice to have a, have a bag of kale and it's, you know, it's nice to have this relationship to my plants. Sorry, Kale. <laughs> 